Hi everyone, Justin Barksdale here. We've shown in past videos how to deploy Kubernetes clusters at the edge using our Edge Forge technology to build the operating system and then taking that operating system into a headless or very low touch environment to deploy a Kubernetes cluster using Pallet. But what happens if you don't have internet connectivity? What happens if you have a site that maybe has not very stable internet connectivity? We've heard from customers that have asked for this exact scenario, and we've now introduced our local UI. Our local UI provides consistent deployments by continuing to use profiles, which are what make Palette so powerful, but and then enhancing it by providing a local TUI for easy access and configurability of basic functions like networking, and then enabling variables so those site technicians don't need to be Kubernetes experts. Let's take a look at how that's done. I have here an Intel Nook that I'm going to power on. I've already flashed it. If you haven't seen the flashing process, please see uh, previous videos. So I'll go ahead and power it on. And you'll just see very quickly that this is going to go through the power cycle and power process of the Intel Nook. Now, while that's doing that, I want to kind of look at set the stage of where we are. I've flashed this device using the process that we've described before. Assume this device has been shipped to a facility, my home, with very little or low internet connectivity. It's not plugged in. And now in this uh, environment, I'm going to build a Kubernetes cluster. I'm going to be presented with a very basic TUI or terminal user interface that I can program the network cap uh, functions of the device. So IP address, D DNS, those types of things and provide it a, with a username and password. So the very first thing I'm prompted with is what is my username? I will just make it very basic Spectro. Uh, Spectro is the password. And we'll just ver verify that. The next thing here is taking a look at, do I want to change the host name? Do I want to um, configure a static IP address or continue to use DHCP? I'll use DHCP for this demo. I can configure DNS or anything else. I'll hit quit and this will save our changes. Now this is going to then prompt us with a um, uh, URL that we can go to to manage the rest of the flow. Again, we're not managing this through Palette, we're managing this through our local UI. So if I take the, my browser and just really quick look, what we're going to focus on is using those same profiles we've used before, but building a cluster within our non-connected site. I'm going to go ahead and browse to this site, which is 10100101102. <clears throat> we'll bypass this self-signed certificate and just type in the password and username that we used just a moment ago. Now we're presented with uh, an overview of the device itself. What's the host, host ID? What's the IP address? We can then configure things like proxy if we did have internet connectivity, but we wanted to have this local management because we don't know if the internet connectivity is stable. I can also do things like reboot the device, reset it to factory default. What I'm going to do now is just create a cluster. So we click our cluster screen, create cluster. We'll give it a name. We'll call it PWP. We can provide tags if we wanted to. Now here's where, where we're presented with that same profile view that we see over here. So I have a profile called demo 2.0-PWP. I have this profile called demo and the version is 2.0-PWP and you can see we've got these five layers which match the same five layers that are here. I've got a couple of other profiles just monitoring with Prometheus and Grafana. I've added some custom dashboards that we have out of the box and then a load balancer just to, to help us enable a service later on. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. I provide it with a pod sidered range. This looks good to me. I could edit this if I wanted to, but this is a range that doesn't overlap. I need to give Grafana a password, so we'll just type that in as Spectro. I want my Grafana load uh, uh, service type to be a load balancer so that we get an IP address. And I need to provide a load balancer range in order to do that. So 10100 101.35 let's say 35 through 10.100.101. Uh, let's do 38. And then I'll click Next. And now I am presented with the basics of my cluster. So I could provide NTP services. I want to give it a virtual IP. This is a single node, so we'll just use the, the IP address of the node. <clears throat> and uh, then I'm presented with sort of a summary of what I'm about to do. If I, in future releases, will support multi-node. Today it's just single node, but I'll select Review. It's going to give me a thumbs up or an OK that everything looks valid and we'll hit deploy cluster.
Now this process takes around 10 or 20 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video while this is uh, creating and we'll come back and catch it when it's all done. All right, so it looks like we are up and running. Took just about, uh, about to uh, see 12 minutes for this to complete uh, roughly. So uh, not, not too bad. Um, we have all of our components up and running. We can you know verify things like, can we get into Prometheus or Grafana? Let's just uh, type in admin as the username and our password, which we made as Spectro. You can see here's our Grafana dashboards and those custom dashboards that I mentioned before. Um, you know, just, just provide you kind of an overview of the device. You don't get a lot of information here yet because it hasn't been running for very long. So now that we have our cluster up and running, uh, let's take a little bit of a look around. What we want to do next is uh, simulate a scenario where I've got a device running in my remote facility. I don't have remote access. Again, this is an air-gapped deployment, so no internet connectivity. And I need to do an upgrade or I need to add an additional profile. Well, what we need to do next is we need to make sure we provide the content as this is air gap, there's no internet for it to download from, we need to upload new content. Now you can see here all of the content that's already uploaded, this takes place when the cluster is deployed. So in the EdgeForge process, you build uh, a content bundle as part of that, just one additional flag. And when the devices or the ISO is packaged up, that content is bundled in with it. When the device deploys, it actually uploads this content to a locally installed Harbor instance um, and that's where the content resides and that's where this is being pulled from. So now if I want to upload new content, I would just say go to content upload. I'll browse for a file. We have this zipped ZST file, which is our uh, content that we want to upload. In this case, we're just going to add a very basic application. Next thing I need to do is go to my um, cluster page. You can see our profile that's, or profiles that are here. I'm going to say, all right, let's, let's update the configuration. Again, we'll browse for a file. We have this new cluster upgrade uh, bundle, which really just is what tells the device, hey, here's the new profiles that I'm expecting you to deploy. And then based upon that content, it's gonna pull its content from there. So we have this uh, Hello Universe that we're adding. Everything else is staying the same, but you can see we're making a change to this Hello Universe. So I'll go ahead and uh, make my screen a bit smaller, hit confirm. And in a moment, you'll see this start to uh, deploy out. So there it is. There's the Hello Universe um, uh, profile or po profile that's being deployed pack. And after it completes, you'll see this get a new service down here. And while that's doing it, we can take a little bit more of a look around. Just kind of take a. We can see that we get our events tab and what's happening in events, and these are you know cumulative from the cr cluster. We have a management tab. Uh, inside the management tab right now, it's just locally managed. That's what we support. But in the very near future, we'll support the ability to take this locally deployed cluster and perhaps promote it to be connected directly to Palette and have Palette manage and maintain it. So giving the ability for uh, you, real flexibility in terms of how things are deployed. Maybe today you don't have very good internet. Maybe in the future that, that site's able to get an upgrade and we don't want to make you, you know, rip it out. It's just this is going to allow you to connect it directly to Palette. Go back to our cluster and we'll see things are still, uh, looks like still pending. I'm going to go ahead and download the cube config file and then we'll go into um, my text here and just see, set that as the context and we'll just turn on uh, canines very quickly to see what's going on. So let's see, it hasn't quite deployed that application. Uh, as I mentioned, one of the things that this does is it takes the content that we had in the bundle and then it has to push it up to Harbor. And once Harbor has it, we can uh, search inside of here and let's see what's called Hello. So there it's pulled that Hello Universe uh, you know, image, and, or it's pushed that Hello Universe image into Harbor. Uh, I should be able to start seeing that being deployed here in just a few minutes as it goes through its reconcile loop. It should go ahead and, and deploy our new, our new uh, application. Once the application is deployed, like I said, we'll have a new service. Just wait a few minutes for that to take place. Uh, and there it is right there. So it's creating the container and there it's running. And now we should be able to see, there it is, Hello Universe service. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and web to that. And there's our, our service. I can click this little button and increase our counter. But it's a very basic web app just to show you how you would upgrade the, um, the 
you know, locally managed pallet uh, cluster, edge cluster. All right, so just real quick flipping back. Again, our scenario here is uh, a site that's disconnected from the internet, doesn't have very good internet connectivity. We have deployed a Kubernetes cluster using our local UI, and then we've upgraded that cluster or modified that cluster, providing some local content and a new profile bundle. If you'd like to hear more, you can check out our YouTube channel. Um, you can also read our docs. The docs are continuously updated based on pallet releases. And then you can read more about our edge solution at spectrocloud.com slash solutions slash edge. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time.